up, everybody? Uh, it's Saturday here in Texas, and we're fixing to have some fun. Killer weather. Uh, there's a lot of car things going on. Uh, most notably here, I've got a supercar coming over that's uh, the Glickenhaus. And uh, that's all I can tell you about it. You just got to see it to believe it. And then my buddy Don Yacht is bringing over basically an unobtainium Porsche. Uh, I, I don't even know how to price it. It's probably worth three million bucks and uh, it's 1966 906 Porsche with race history and he's driving it on the streets. But a lot of guys that have these cars don't even drive them. I mean, there's not many of them out there. They're basically, you know, if you crash and total it, you're gonna have to build it from the ground up. So I'm pretty proud of my boy Don for driving it over. And uh, you know what, before they get here, I gotta go get rid of some of this coffee and I'm all jacked up on caffeine. Woo, got the jitters. Listen up, everybody, this is a first. It's Gas Monkey giveaway number three. Every dollar you spend is gonna get you entries into getting $200,000 in cash right here at Gas Monkey with me partying, having some beer, and maybe some barbecue. But the starter pack is what we're talking about. It's a hat, it's a koozie, it's a bumper strip, and it's a t-shirt. Unbelievable, it keeps going. Then it's a long sleeve shirt, and then it's a zip up hoodie. Man, how could I make this better? Let me think about it. How about 500 extra entries? That's it. Gas Monkey starter kit get it now because it comes with 500 extra entries for 200 grand here at gas monkey garage who does better than that no one I missed the entrance. Freaking rad. Where's that? There he is. What's up, man? Holy cow. Pretty interesting interior choice. Jeffrey the giraffe. Jeffrey the giraffe. So we can print anything on leather and vinyl coat it and put it on. They're all, it's all Savelle based leather, so something out of BMW or Mercedes. And so you can custom really customize this. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. I. I'm not the most intelligent guy when it comes to this setup in these cars, so you're gonna have to walk me through it, but center steering wheel. So center center seat for the driver, full rear seats for the passengers, fits three people, Apple CarPlay, you know, six-way adjustable power seats, and our uh, gauges on the outside. Basically. What are, so the gauges are out here. So gauges on the inside as well, but we learned from racing is that fuel, the fires in the pits that we've had, as well as vitals on the engine with PSI and, and, and oil pressure. And then this is just your halo for your number. So if you've got four cars racing in the field, you throw the colors on them, we come in the pit at night, you can see who's coming in. No kidding. So what's the motor? Let's check it out. All right, LT4. Yeah. 650 horsepower. Just to check it out too. Don't be camera shot. Chima, six speed transmission, manual gated transmission. Um, stock GM LT4, wow. so no, no tweaks to it. Our uh, paddle shift version, the CS of this car, comes in a seven-speed Chima with an LT5, so 750 horsepower. And the car weighs in at uh, 2,749 pounds. Tad, come, that's light. So how many of these have you built so far? So we've got five in the factory being assembled right now. Um, and this is the pre-production prototype we built to go up the hill at Goodwood last year. Uh, and the customer actually spec'd this car uh, and it came to the U.S. to do its American road show. Excuse Bless me. you. Are they built in the U.S. or over there? Uh, we built them here in okay. Danbury, Connecticut. And uh, this along with our boot, which is our McQueen, Steve McQueen Baja boot reimagined into an SUV. So this, the S is the analog version. So analog gauges, 
you know, kind of a, an homage to what doesn't exist anymore, especially in the American car world. Everything's going electric. So we wanted a, a high powered, lightweight car for enthusiasts to enjoy keeping the collection forever. But unlike a lot of cars that are coming on market, this car's like crash tested and everything, right? This is not a fast act car. This has a Nitsa VIN. This has been crash tested and uh, we'll make it in the C, which is the GT3 or GT2 class race, race car. The S, which is the analog gated shifter uh, manual, or manual transmission car. And then our CS, which will be the paddle shift seven speed with a Motec dash and some other bells and whistles. Does this get hotter on the driver? It does get a little warm, that should be tinted. And we're working on how this hatch will actually be removable so you can have a pop out cargo. Oh, but just the centerpiece. Just the centerpiece. So this is still like a like work in progress? This is a B minus of what we're building right now in the factory for our customers. Uh, our first delivery is in a couple months. It'll go to uh, Villa Dest in Italy to be shown, and then I'll go up the hill of Goodwood as well. How's the boot? Is there any room in the front? There is luggage compartments, and this is on top of the center console in the middle. And then you sacrifice one passenger side floor for luggage that we provide that's sized accordingly. Okay, so that's it. Has anybody ran one of these in the gumball yet? Not yet. Ooh, I need to do that. Glickenhaus 004S. So Glickenhaus, James and Jesse Glickenhaus own the manufacturer. Um, James Glickenhaus is known for building P45, the last Enzo chassis, and turning it into a Pinafarino custom car. Okay. And taking it the same same car and design and running it in the Nürburgring 24 hour, taking home podiums with it, and uh, basically decided to go out and do his own thing as soon as he broke up with Ferrari. What's the 004 mean? 004 is a designation, just, just a model number. Just a model number? Yep. Holy cow. All right, well, I gotta ask, how much does it cost? What do you think? I don't know, it's gotta be, you know, a million dollar supercar or something, right? So as spec this car would come in at around five hundred and thirty-five thousand. What? Yeah. I know these people watch and think that's a big number, but it's not a big number for something like this. Not not in this world. The idea of this, we're gonna we're gonna produce twenty-five this year for our founders. Uh, and then we'll produce 50 cars next year. And the people that are buying these cars, the people that don't flip cars, they don't turn around and sell it in six months. They want to have it in their collection forever and enjoy it. Uh, we're offering a two-year, 50,000-mile warranty. And when we go race Le Mans, or Baja, or Monza, or Spa, we'll bring our, our uh, clients as guests, and they can stay with us, full hospitality. And it's all based on how many miles you have on your car. So if you have a garage queen, probably not going to Lamar with us, but if you put 20,000 miles on it, you're the first person we're going to get How many miles is on this one? 520. Well, you're not going to Lamar's. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, uh, this is our pre-production prototype. This is the second engine this car has had. Um, and uh, long story short, it's been a trailer queen driving around Florida and the South uh, to show our customers that are getting the deliveries in Lamar's. What's the easiest way to get in there? Go ahead and just step on the flat spot there and stick your butt in the seat and rotate in. And there's a handle right here for your support. Ooh, pretty comfortable, I guess. Let's get you a uh, seating position right here. No, nah, let's just go the RF. There it goes. On the, on the front left of the uh, seat there, there's the controls. Go ahead and, and your wheel telescopes and... Uh... There we go. Now we're down. Yeah. Air conditioning compressors out of an Escalade, so it actually works. We didn't borrow some European uh, setup for it. And then you have your upper car, upper car play and your backup camera up top. You can have two ladies in here, one on each side. Yep. Just all leg. Just all leg. <laughs> That's rad. Can I drive it? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna drive it. It's pretty comfortable. It's very comfortable. I mean, you're just in it. I've never driven a center steer car. So when we're on the road behind people, just line up with the middle of their license plate so you don't you veer in. I don't think that that's gonna be too difficult. It, you know, I think you can adapt to that pretty easy. For the visibility, I'll drop a mirror for you, and I'll hop on that side, we'll go for a spin.
You like it? I kind of want one. Okay. But if I was going to get one, you can specify colors, interiors, everything, right? Jim Glickenhouse is not Henry Ford. You can get one any, any color you want, any color interior you want. As you see, this was spec pretty wild. You can go raw carbon, and the raw carbon option is only a $90,000 upgrade as opposed to three hundred dollars at a Pagani. So you can go raw carbon on the entire, the entire car, add some color aspects, obviously uh, stripes and other customization is, is possible. But by the time we bump up from this, which I guess is the base, and we get everything, where are we gonna settle? Probably uh, 650, 700? So on a, on a S, you're gonna top out around 580. And on the CS, the paddle car with the roof scoop, center lock wheels, and the LT5, and the digital dash and things, you're around 800,000 at the top of the line. But I'm gasping. I used to get everything for half price. We're glicking house. <laughs> Put a deposit down, and you're next one in line. <laughs> How long is the wait? Uh, right now, we're on a 14 to 16 month uh, wait period. Really? Um, but I, our customers are invited to all of our events when we race at Le Mans, Spa, Nürburgring, Baja, Nora 1000. They're all invited to those and experience it, get in our cars, get some test laps in, meet our drivers. Every spot is high-end hospitality. And a ticket to Le Mans as a guest is 11,000 bucks. I'm pretty sure if you go with any other team, you're gonna look at 50,000 plus as a guest. So we're just trying to bring the right people together who will appreciate the cars. So 400 done by this one. This was already beat up used test car. This is the pre-production prototype. My grandchildren will have this one day. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. That sentimental stuff. I hate that. Sentimental <laughs> starts with an S. You know, even even our boots that we built, the Fast Act, we built five of them. We've been buying those back, keeping them, because we really want to have them in the family for the future. Um, it's just something special we were able to be part of, and the Glickenhaus family took us in and asked us to be the dealer. So, you know, we want to do right by them and make sure all the cars are in the right people's hands. Freaking super cool, man. Yeah. No, if I can't buy it, I can buy you a beer. Come on. That's fine. Let's do it. Woo! Man, dude, that thing is freaking wicked cool. I tell you what, though, I got a surprise for you. I got a buddy of mine bringing up uh, just an old 60 Porsche. I think you might like it. Oh, I like those. Yeah, you wait till you see this one. Cheers, Cheers. Bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at that. Just the fact that he has it on the street is insane. That is a 906 Porsche. If you don't know what that is, well, I hardly do. But holy cow. You've got to be the baddest guy in all the lands. <laughs> Not only do you own it, you're driving it on Dallas streets. <laughs> if I can get out of it. What's up, Don? How you doing, man? Fucking killing it. <laughs> Dang, dude. It's different. I'll give it that. I bet you... There's hardly a person you pass that even knows what it is. You know what? I don't think so. I do think it looks a little, uh, probably to the modern guy, a, a kit car-ish, but I think the patina, the, the patina comes through, so. But this is, uh, what year, 906? Uh, 1966. 66, 906. Yeah. Dang, dude. Now this car's <laughs> got race history, right? It does. It's got uh, Daytona 24 hour. It's got Watkins and some Sebring. Uh, 68, 69, and into 70. Now, was that campaigned by different people or was it campaigned by Porsche? It was campaigned by a private privateer, a Canadian, a, a Canadian group of uh, uh, guys. Dang, dude, yeah. now you've driven the uh, <laughs> Sebring in the 24 hour. Could you do it in this? I could not even, I don't know how they do it. I, I, I mean, just, just uh, everything that, that's, that takes to drive this, is is i don't know how they did the 24 hours i don't know how they did the 12 hours in these things but you know they did and that's what and that's that's what makes it cool it sounds just pissed off though <laughs> when you came around the corner that is so wicked i've always wanted a car that i could uh you know do a goodwood or a lamar classic or something like that in and uh you know, I, I I finally found this one. It was in Denmark, and uh, I think that this this is this is a good car for Dallas. Dallas doesn't have something like this, and Hell no. I think it's good to have it have it around. Man, dude, yeah. let's see the motor. You got or it. Is that easy or hard? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad.
You got one strap over there. You got it? Uh, yeah. I think you got it. So what size is this? You know what? This one is the race engine. I, I have the original engine up on a stand. So this one's been built out. What's crazy to me back then, you know, they had to have the windshield wipers. They had to have the, the two seats back for the old Lamar stuff. They had to have a boot where they kept a spare tire. You know, this is just, Is that know, supposed to be a trunk? I think that's supposed to be a trunk. And actually, I, I think they would put, uh, it, it, I, I found the part that that's called and it's called the trunk. And I don't know what they put back in there at that point, but yeah. It better not melt. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yeah. Golly. Yeah. There you go. This is the most expensive car you ever owned? This is the most expensive. I sold the Toyota to buy it. Yeah, but the Toyota didn't bring half this money. It, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> About a third. Yeah. About Woo! a third. Yeah. That is so killer. Some of the stickers are from the last few years where they were running it in Europe. Uh, they ran the Le Mans Classic a couple times, Nuremberg Spa. So they've been they've been running uh, uh, it in Europe the last few years. They had it race ready for Le Mans and then COVID hit. So yeah. at least I got the car when it was all prepped and ready to go. And that was, you know, I didn't, I didn't have to do anything to the car. Well, now it's in the States. Is your phone ring? Anybody trying to get it from Dude. you? And, uh, not yet, not yet. I, <laughs> I, do, I do think there's, uh, there's a couple guys that, uh, and what always makes you feel good is the guy who sold it to me said he will always buy it back for the price he sold, you know? So when they, when they tell you that, Hey, uh, if you ever sell it, give me first right. That that makes you feel good. Heck yeah, it does. Yeah. Super cool, man. Oh, Thanks cool, for being by. Thanks a lot. Let's go in. All right. It's freaking hot out here. So there you go. Two really, really cool supercars. Uh, one old, one new. Uh, I couldn't tell you which one I like best because uh, everybody asked me, what's my favorite car? Well, it's the one that makes the most money. Boom. Now we're going to Strokers. Let's go. Supercars at the shop earlier this morning. Uh, one worth about almost three million and uh, who, hung out. Who was driving it? I took it for a drive. I had some fun with all that stuff this morning. Now we come out here. My car's parked. There's keys. All right. I won't time. be taking it home because I'm fixing to start drinking. <laughs> well, you got Sinjin to babysit you. There you go. Tony, you're, you'll be <laughs> under, under control. Yeah, they're just not very good bodyguards. No. <laughs> saw some supercars, saw some expensive cars, we've seen some rat rods, seen this thing with crazy tracks on it. I want to find out who owns it and I want to go for a ride. And uh, I'm done. My car is parked. I got a cold beer. It's a beautiful day. That's what's going down. See you next time.